Hi guys, in this episode of the Nostalgia Trip, I'm gonna be continuing with my reactions to Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Currently we are on Season 1, Episode 24A, Snow Day. I'm pretty excited, as usual, to continue with my reactions uh, to this show. Uh, it's actually been uh, a little longer than usual since the last reaction that I did. It's been like about a week and a half. And... Yeah, I, I've kind of uh, been uh, starving for more Rise of the TMNT, especially because I just uh, finished editing uh, the video uh, talking about the top uh, 22 episodes of the 2012 TMNT series. So right now I'm really in the mood for TMNT is what I'm trying to say. And I'm pretty excited with a name like this. It's obviously going to be a fun, nonsensical snow day episode, which... It's cool. I'm hoping that I'm going to enjoy it so far in the last like 20 or so episodes, if not even more at this point. Um, I've enjoyed most of the episodes at a certain level. A lot of them I've really, really liked. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to enjoy this one, especially because we are also nearing uh, the season finale. So hopefully that's going to be fun once we get there. But yeah, there's not much to say right now. I'm curious whether the ending of last episode is going to lead into anything now. Probably not, but still. <sighs> anyway, uh, before we get into the reaction, I do want to remind you that you can get a full hand version of this reaction over on my Patreon or Coffee account, where by subscribing to the specific tires I've created for it, you can get access to some or all of my full hand reactions which includes cartoons, show, uh, short live action TV series, long live action TV series, and movie full and reactions. Alternatively, you can also just stick with the YouTube version of these reactions, since I do my best to keep the best parts of the reaction into the YouTube video. Though it's always appreciated if you do go out of your way to support me. Anyway, enough chit chat about things you don't care about, let's just get into what you are here for, that being my reaction to episode 24A, Snow Day in 3, 2, 1. Snow day, hooray, so magical and new, there's so much we could do. Snow day, no training, only fun, we've only just begun, I'm glad I'm here with you. This is gonna be like a musical, because I wouldn't be complaining. I'm surprised how good all of them sound singing. Man, April sounds really good singing. What the hell? And Donnie, I guess. Why the hell is uh, Leonardo dressed like Negan? <laughs> uh, he was way too eager there. This guy again. Haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Why are you guys fighting for stupid stuff? I hate it when you do that. No safe base, no weapons, no no ice balls, no slush slappers, no horse hoppers, pepper poppers, liberty launchers, downtown hammers, green hackers, crackers, no Freddy Prince Juniors, uh -oh. no corks, no balls of any kind. We aren't savages. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Man, Donnie continues to be the most interesting character of the bunch and the most entertaining as well. I love him. No, don't attack me, him! What the hell are you guys doing here? Man, that's such an epic snowball fight. You got me good back there, Donnie. But the game ain't over yet. Yes, but when it is, my team's flag will grace our statue. I love that they're actually being nice about their fight. Like, it's not them genuinely, like, fighting about it. Ready, 
It's a playful fight. Good job, Liam. <laughs> It's fun for me too. I swear that is his 100% his asshole. That is his asshole. That was his ass crack. I was kind of joking, but it genuinely looked like that, you know? Whoa. I just love the visuals in this show, man. Whoa. In many ways, this show is like a spiritual successor to the 2012 series, at least visually. Huh? I can switch between bear and ghost. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh. I was gonna say he really reminds me of uh, that one mutated Batman villain from the Batman vs. the TMNT movie. I think it was Captain Cold in that one, but he oh, kind of also looks a little bit like uh, uh, like Bane. I think his name was based on the mask. Come on, guys, concentrate and defeat him. You're a monster, not because you look that way, but because you ruined something that we collectively cherish. Humbug upon you, sir. Humbug. <laughs> we all love Jupiter Jim. Which movie is better doesn't even matter. If I'm being real, I love how Donnie performs all the musical numbers when we watch PV4. And I do like how Raph gets stuck in a pirate accent after we watch Seven Galaxies. I try to. You know, this kind of makes me think whether they uh, wrote this episode as a way to kind of like uh, talk to the fans who are arguing which version of TMNT is better. I choose to believe that they did. I hate, I hate whenever the villain has this kind of power. It's not fair that they can choose when can they can touch you, but you cannot. It's so unfair. We'll use our icy environment just like Jupiter Jim did. Wow, full circle. Donnie, can you stop being self-aware? It's my job to point out stuff like that. You guys don't leave me anything to comment on. <laughs> See? When you work together, it's so easy to defeat the villain. Ah, uh, that's cool. Work together is equal to put those bear on ice. Our flag should represent all of us. Wait, wait, wait. How come Raft is on top? Oh, come on, don't focus on that shit, please. Okay, um, this was a nice little episode. I definitely would say that I overall enjoyed it, but the pacing was a little bit too fast-paced for me to really pay full attention to it. Like, half the time I was just not even trying to focus on what the hell the turtle was saying, because they were just going on these long-ass rants. Uh, with criticism about a fictional movie, which I neither know nor do I care to learn more about. So, that was a little bit annoying about the episode, I guess. But it still didn't ruin the episode for me or anything. It was a fun little episode. I like the snowball fights. I like the kind of uh, bickering that they had in this episode. Uh, how it was like... It definitely felt like sibling rivalry kind of uh, bickering, and I really, really enjoyed that about it. It was cool seeing them fight with the snowballs visually, as usual, It's it was a really fun episode. But just like pretty much all of the episode featuring uh, this uh, pro wrestler guy, I don't uh, remember his name, I, I, I just don't. Um, it's not really like my favorite episode or anything, but still... Like I've, I'm pretty sure I've said before, the general uh, consistent quality of this show has raised to the point where even like episode like this, which I only have particularly many good things to say about it uh, or anything about it that really blew my mind, it's still like really fun. Like the average quality of the show at this point is very high. So yeah, even like a more 
mediocre episode in a way, it's still really entertaining to me. I still really, really enjoyed it. And I appreciate the different atmosphere from usual because we haven't gotten a snow episode until now. So that was pretty cool to see as well. But yeah, I don't really have much to say about this episode. It was a fun uh, little filler uh, episode. But since we are nearing the end uh, of the show, I'm hoping that we're going to get something a little bit more important. And I hope that it's not going to be just the final episode that is going to be like big episode or whatever. But yeah. Um, in terms of rating for this episode, I think I'm gonna go with a pretty solid 8.2 out of 10. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say. I, I enjoy the kind of self-aware uh, uh, commentary that the writers were making with this episode, that it doesn't really matter which is better than which. Uh, at this point, I've honestly learned to love both pretty much every single version of TMNT for different reasons. I love the 2003 probably still the most, but I can definitely see what people love about the 2012 series, about Rise, about the 1987, and I love them all. I would definitely be happy to watch more of every single one of the versions, although I will admit Rise of the TMNT is the one that I have least interest to watch, um, mainly because of the length of the episodes, just like I said before, it doesn't really allow me to get super invested in the show. It, it's just something that I cannot enjoy in any way other than casual. Whereas for the 1987 series, sure, it's slow-paced, sure, it's old, but it still kind of allows me to, en to invest and in, uh, immerse myself in it more than uh, Rise does. But yeah, I, li I really like the commentary is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, I am curious though, what do you guys think about this episode? So comment your thoughts down below and let's have a discussion about this. And also, before we end this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently four patrons on Patreon. Omar Bridgman, Deadpool, Corby Dead, and Theo Rose Gelatly. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it. It really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me and have continued to support me for such a long time. Hope you continue to enjoy my content and continue to support me going forward. Thank you very much. Another thing that I also want to tell you guys before we end this video is something about me that some of you may or may not already know uh, that will also explain why do I look and dress the way that I do in my videos. That thing being the fact that I am trans. In particular, I am somewhere between a non-binary person and a trans woman, though I am unsure at the moment and probably won't be sure until I talk to a professional who deals with trans people, but that is where the reason why I'm telling you all this comes. I need your help. Due to the fact that I live in a homophobic and transphobic Eastern European country, with a family that won't really ever accept the fact that I'm trans if they ever found out, it's not really feasible or easy for me to transition here with minimal to no repercussions. So that's why I would really, really appreciate any kind or any amount of support that you guys can give me with this. That said, I don't want to guilt trip you uh, or anything. I don't want you to feel like you have to help me. So if you don't want to or you don't have the means to help out, that's okay, don't feel bad. I just want you to know that it would be greatly appreciated if you did help me get out of this situation. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me and thank you for hearing me out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, Please leave a like and subscribe. Also, check out the link in the description to my Wattpad where I post my stories because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where you can pledge your support and help keep the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can see help me out in all the ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!